engineered systems, students learn how force, motion and energy can be used in systems, machines and structures. The context is that students will design, communicate, test and evaluate a power racer. A power racer is a small car, plane or vehicle that students can make out of recycled materials or foam and balsa that has wheels and an electric motor attached. The motor is then connected to wires which connects to a power anchor. Once switched on, the car or plane will rotate around the power anchor. Students have the opportunity to test their car or plane two to three times to determine any changes they need to make to improve its speed or performance. Once finalised, students will time their cars or planes and the student or students who has the fastest time to complete the two to three rotations will be declared the winner. Information about the design folio and workbook. We've decided that instead of completing a digital workbook or folio, students will present their information on a Google site. This will allow students to present their work digitally and for their teachers to have instant access to their work, allowing for both formative and summative assessment while providing instant feedback to the students. At the same time, students who are not as organized or lose or forget their workbooks at home are still able to work on their projects from anywhere in any way where they have internet access. Special information for schools, what do they need to know or how to do? The way that we have designed this unit means that schools can adapt the unit or design brief to fit both the needs of the school and or the students. For example, the school may decide that they want to make their power raisers purely out of recyclable materials, such as bottles and cans, instead of foam and balsa. We have experimented with both recycled and new resources with students and both projects work just as well. We have recommended for schools to purchase power anchors, like the ones in the video, along with motors, wheels, axles, etc. However, this may be an expensive exercise for some schools and schools may choose just to buy classic sets of materials and to reuse them after each unit. If that still seems out of the budget, schools may choose not to include an electric motor at all and instead create ramps for the power races to compete on using gravity. Students can still race each other with the winner determined by the furthest distance travelled. Schools could also use balloons that are placed on each vehicle that are blown up and let go to create a power source. If timing is a concern, you might limit the amount of time students get to design and make their power races. If you need to fill in time, you can make cardboard prototypes of the power races first before students move on to their final design materials. There is also the option of making balloon cars at the beginning of the unit to introduce the concept of motion to the students.